I'm going to go live here. Here we go. Well, everybody, welcome to the next webinar. People are about to be here. And I've got a special little visitor behind me. That's Katie. Nobody knows Katie's going to be here yet. So just wait until they show up. They're going to be surprised. <laughs> There's Katie. Sit up, Kate. So people can see you when, when they come in. And they'll be like, oh my god, is that a Katie? <laughs> <laughs> they should be showing up anytime now. Oh. Hey, and here's Hi. Katarina, and we are broadcasting live. Woohoo! You know How why are we're you? broadcasting live so soon? What? You know why we're broadcasting live so soon? Why is that? Do you notice something uh, uh, special in my video screen that's not usually there? No. Look very closely. What? You honestly can't see her. No. Come forward. Oh, Katie! Come here. Hi, Katie. Come here. No, you're not in trouble, silly. Watch, watch out for the yeah, bag when he comes here. You're not in trouble. People want to see you better. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And I have a Katie. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. <laughs> Brenda should your, be here anytime. Your hair's short. Yeah, my dad cut it for me. Your dad cut it? Uh -huh. Wow. I didn't know Wally was a hairdresser. He's not. <laughs> he could cut hair, though. He could cut cool. my mom's. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, Do you haven't like cut to Katarina in a while. Do you like your haircut, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love seeing that smile. You got a great smile, Katie. How's school going? Good. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, here's Brenda. Brenda. Happy brought brought the munchkin last time. I got my little uh, oompa loompa this time. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. Hey, Brenda, what's up? Brenda? Can you hear me? Can I you know hear me? Now. Okay. No. Say hi to Brenda, Katie. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Dave, if you don't mind, I'm going to get started with Brenda. Sure, no problem. She has, she has a bit of a time constraint tonight, so I don't okay. want to diddle daddily. Katie, you're still going to be able to hear them and see them, but I'm going to mute the microphone, okay? Okay. So they won't be able to hear us after this. Say bye. Bye. Bye, Katie. Bye. So Brenda, yes, it's been a it's been a while. How are yeah. you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. You taking care of your mom and stuff, yeah? Yes, she actually goes in for surgery tomorrow morning. How are you handling all that? Good, good. It's it's been um, it's been long, right? Mm -hmm. But um, you know, she goes in tomorrow, and they're gonna keep her in the hospital for a week so depending yeah. on how all that goes so yeah so. are you sure but, uh, you're handling it okay 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I finally actually got my sister on board, so um, she'll be able to take some of it off of me. That's good. That's now, really good. so that's good. Yeah, they had a falling out about two years ago, and so they've um, just recently worked things out. So. Yeah. It really makes it easier. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. That's really important to be able to have that kind of support. It is. It is. And, you know, not just for myself, but for my mom and dad as well, right? You know? Because mm -hmm. uh, my dad isn't healthy either, right? He's got a really bad heart. And so to have him by himself while mom's in the hospital is not the ideal situation either, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of a lot going on right now. I see. So how are you doing in relation to your creative works and stuff like that? Is Are you finding yourself going through a bit of a, a period of stoppage or...? Um, actually, it, it comes and goes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, um, I've just uh, worked and I did a piece not too long ago, actually. I haven't mm -hmm. done anything for a while and this one came out mm, probably last week. So um, I was working on that, and then today I was working on um, older ones, just trying to finish things up, right? Because I have a lot, <laughs> I have a lot of paintings in kind of like in, in halfway done type thing, right? So yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. So it's coming, it's coming, but you know I haven't really had a whole lot of time to right to to do to devote to any of it, so I just kind of pick and choose my moments. Mm -hmm. Or they pick and choose me, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you been doing so, with yeah. um, morning pages and stuff like that? Like, don't worry, there's no not going to be any ruler slaps across your wrist if you didn't haven't been doing them, but just curious. Um, they haven't been as like every day, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I do go in and I, you know, like I have been putting stuff in. You know, maybe some of them it's only been like a paragraph, yeah. right? But um, yeah, I, it looks, you know, when I go back, it looks like I'm doing every second day or whatever. So I haven't been doing it every day, but it's, it's in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got to get back into that because it's it's a good release it's a good out that's sure I'm sensing that you're a little bit um, like the, the the imagery that's coming to my head is a little bit of this just kind of like like almost like a pressure right here or something where's that sorry I feel I'm I'm sensing from you like energetically like like almost like a pressure almost like kind of like a like a pushing for some reason like yeah kind of like I getting from you um I have I actually have to go to the doctor on Tuesday myself and get hooked up for um, uh, a heart monitor because uh -huh. right? I've been having heart palpitations and stuff for the last three weeks so they're not sure if like there's really anything there or if it's just a little bit of uh, the whole pressure and anxiety thing right yeah. So, yeah, I got to wear that stupid thing again for another 24 hours. And then after that, I have to go in for a heart stress test in April. Right. So, yeah. Definitely. That's interesting. Because <laughs> I'm just like, uh, like a pressure on the chest. <laughs> and it, it has been. And it's been really weird, right? Because I, I get like um, almost like major spurts where it feels like I get like one big major pump of blood, right, uh -huh. that hits me, and sometimes it gets so hard that it'll make me cough a little bit. Uh-huh. So, yeah, there is something there, <laughs> for sure. Have you been but. exploring it a bit? Yes, yeah, absolutely, trying to figure out if there's more behind it than, you know, just a, you know, just a heart thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm guessing there is. You know, but sometimes yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, okay, <laughs> do we really want to go into it this deep right now? <laughs> so Honestly, sometimes yeah, I push it away. Sometimes it's good to just def definitely deal with the medical stuff, but you know, always keep it kind of in the back of your mind too. 
I mean, I'm sure that all this stuff with your mom is not really helping. I mean, no, it's not, right? And, like, you know, the other part, too, is, like, we're supposed to be getting to move. And so, like, this just everything just kind of happens all at once, right? Right. So it's, it's um, yeah, it's, it's okay, but it hasn't been 100% easy, put it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's, for myself, there's a little bit of maybe guilt because I'm, you know, leaving the country when almost like when you know my parents need me the most, but at the mm -hmm. same time I look at it, it's like you know, do I really put my life on hold when I do have siblings here, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. What is it you're leaving the country for again? I'm getting married. Oh, wow! I didn't even know you were engaged. Yeah, we've been seeing each other for about 10 years. Wow. And um, just kind of been putting it off, right? Right, okay. And so, so finally it's just like, nope, you know, I just got to start living life. And so, yeah, <laughs> I'm going That's from incredible. this I'm so happy small little, <laughs> it's, it's a little nerve-wracking, you know, because I'm going from this small little tw town of like 1,200 people to a suburb of 3 million people. <laughs> So, and I don't do well around crowds, right? Uh huh. So, that's been one of my. So you're moving I can make to hesitations. Apple Valley, which is a suburb of Minneapolis. Okay. And where are you going yeah. for your wedding honeymoon thing? Uh, where we haven't really decided yet. Um, we're we're not sure if we're gonna go do a destination for like um, like someplace tropical mm -hmm. or if we're gonna go back to Paris where it all started. No. That's so romantic. Yeah. So yeah, he kissed you're, me so on top of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, it was. Mm. Oh. Well, that's like some some pretty bittersweet happenings going on in your life right now. It is. Bittersweet. It is. There's a lot of a lot of upheaval at the moment, so Yeah. Yeah. But it it'll it'll it's all good, right? You know? Yeah. It's all good. Just a lot. Definitely. I mean I'm sure that the whole process of getting through all of this and just kind of uh, you know, embarking on some of these internal journeys as well kind of can instigate it and mm -hmm. it all kind of coincides and kind of mixes with each other and it's it's, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, I'm experiencing a lot of the same kind of stuff happening in my life too, you know. Just, whoa, <laughs> it's changing really quickly. And yeah, it's, it's it's like a kind of like a white knuckle ride. You're kind of just like there, and you're just kind of like bumping <laughs> along on the ride, and you're just like, whoa, like this is a lot of fun, but it's really scary too. And that's the thing, right? Because you never know what's going to happen. And I've always, um, I've always been in the position where I never really took a lot of risks, right? Uh huh. And so now this is a really big one because it's not just myself; it's my son too, right? Mm-hmm. But um, why not? You know, I'm almost 44. It's time to start living. <laughs> right. You, have you know, months, man. Exactly. Exactly. Or let so. we know of. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I guess we have a lot of different lives, but we only remember the one while we're here. Right. So yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I'm really happy for you. Like. I'm really happy that even though all this stuff is going on in your life and every other thing possible, imaginable, could keep you stuck right now, health issues, you know, family issues, that you're still kind of persevering and going through with something that you really want to do and something that's, you know, a scary new risk, a new possibility, a new venture. Like, mm -hmm. I really commend you for that because a lot of people would use that other stuff as a reason for them to stay stuck and stifled and not really living the way that they want to or not really doing the things in their life that would bring them happiness and joy. Yeah. And that's what I used to be, right? There's always yeah. reasons not to. So it's like, nope, can't be like this anymore. So, you know, 
let's go. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Right, you know. So yeah, it's it's good. It's it's good. In the long run, it'll be well worth everything that I'm going through right now. So. I'm just curious, are you finding any correlation with your pain level and those action steps towards living a more full life? Like... I would think so, yeah. Do you, yeah find that, do you find that your pain level kind of alleviates when you start taking more action towards living the way that you want to and doing the things that you want to do? Yes. Yes. Okay. You know, that I, was something I, I found for me, too. I feel definitely I'm I'm starting to feel more at ease, right? Uh -huh. um, I think more so with myself personally and inside, uh -huh. right? Because I am finally starting to look at it and say, you know what? You know, I actually do count in this life, and so I'm going to start doing things that matter to me instead of always being somebody else, right? Right. And so it does make a huge difference. It so That's I got so I got a long ways to go. <laughs> but of course, but I'm I mean, sorry to interrupt. I just want to say uh, congratulations, Brenda. Thank you. Great listening to, and I was just showing her pictures of the Eiffel Tower, and I was showing her where Paris is. I had a world map where Paris is, Chicago, and where you are, just so she gets cool. the idea. She really likes that Eiffel Tower. <laughs> what do you think? Katie? It's really neat from like the top at night. night. Yeah, Katarina's been there too. I haven't been there though. No, it's it's a really cool place. Yeah, they suck. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back to shutting up now. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so I'm curious, what what week have you left off on? Because I know that you weren't here for a couple of them. I'm on seven. Okay. I started reading week eight, but uh, I never got all the way through it. So let's discuss week seven. I don't have my book in front of me, so you will have to forgive me for not having the whole thing memorized and not. That's okay, <laughs> not a problem. But I'm curious as to like what of it, because I'm I'm noticing that you're talking about possibilities and stuff like that. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think week seven or eight is about possibility. Uh, week seven is recovering a sense of connection. Connection, and then eight is possibility, right? Yes. Okay. So yes, recovering a sense of connection, and I think you know, and I finding that's what I'm. Um, what's happening to me is I'm finding that sense of connection with myself, right? right? And um, start living more towards, um, I guess, my truth, if that makes sense. Uh huh. You know, instead of um, somebody else. Now, you know, with the whole art thing, you know, it's it's coming out, and I'm. Starting to explore areas that, you know, I always thought, well, I never had any talent in it, right? Mm -hmm. And as I'm reconnecting, I'm finding things are emerging that I never knew were there before. Right. So um, that's that's been quite um, quite an adventure for me, right? Can you explore, um, expand on that a little bit more? I'm curious. Um, well, like I said, the things that, um, you know, that I'm, I'm starting to look at, it's like, before it's like, okay, well, I'm no good at that, and I, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, right? And um, as I'm finding a connection with myself, I'm finding that I'm becoming more adventurous, uh -huh. right? And in... You know, not only with a personal life, but in the things that, um, in the things that I'm I'm newly exploring, right? Mm -hmm. And as I'm doing that, I'm finding that it's always kind of been there, but it's just been hidden behind whatever it was, right? Right. So, um, and it's even I find um, with the connection with myself, I've learned to 
or I am learning actually to stand up and, and kind of speak my truth in spite of the fact that it may piss people off, mm, right? Yeah. But <laughs> but I think it's be it's it's important, right? To finding that that part of you and, and not to be afraid of letting it show, you know? So it's it's um it's interesting. And the other thing too I find with it, you know, a lot of when I'm going through and I'm looking at the questions, you know, I'm I'm looking at things and it's like you know, these questions it's like as a kid I missed the chance too or as a kid I lacked whatever. Up until this point in time I always I guess maybe was in and that thing is like, okay, well, you know, I didn't lack anything because I didn't ever want to, you know, make people, I guess, feel bad. So I just kind of pushed that away and just pretended that I everything was fine, you know, mm -hmm. until when you actually start getting in there and, and doing that connection, it's like, no, you know, I really was lacking this. And it's okay to admit that, right? Yeah. So those, those things have been... Those, that has been good for me. So, I am um, I'm learning a lot in this chapter, <laughs> and maybe it's just because it's where I am personally, right? Right. You know that things seem to have um, are meshing, right, and are just coming in line with each other right now. So it's it's been a good uh, it's been a good journey, a really good journey. I sense a lot of difference, like like just just the quality of conversation we're having and just how you're showing up right now is like qualitatively different than it was when you first like started with me and like I I'm just kind of sitting here kind of marveling at this because it's like almost like you're blooming like you're you're blooming like a flower and <laughs> I'm I'm just really in awe of your transformation I'm just like sitting here like watching you as like you're budding open and I'm just like this is so cool <laughs> <laughs> it is, right? And I'm enjoying it too, you know? It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's taken me a long time to get where I am, yeah. but um, I like it. For the first time in my life, I can actually look at myself in the mirror and say, you know what, I like what I see. And that's huge, right? That is like that's the fucking huge. coolest thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It really is. So um, <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting, and even you know my son picks up on it as well, right? Mm -hmm. You know, because he's always been, you know, overly, um, I don't know, self confidence just oozes out of that kid, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and and now he just you know I'll say things, and he goes, "Yep, you're my mom." Oh. <laughs> right? You know, so it's it's been good. It's been That's really so good. so cool. Don't mm -hmm. mind me. I don't know if you can see. I'm like tearing up right now because I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's so. incredible. Yeah, and I'm I'm just looking forward to um, pushing on and and experiencing and uncovering a whole lot more that I know is there, right? That I've right. never taken the time to. So it's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to have the life that I want and the life that I deserve, and it's coming. You know? It's coming. It's coming. It's yeah. coming because you're making the room for it. Yeah, and I think that's the big thing, right? I never took the time before. You know, and I think the biggest thing is... Um, Probably never thought I was worthy of it before, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all changing. That's incredible. So it's good. Yeah, it's good. And isn't it funny too, like how you know your relationship with your life really mirrors your relationship with your artwork? Like mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I love doing like these creativity block things is because it like. You know, you start because you want your artwork to be better, and then all of a sudden your whole life starts changing and transforming and morphing because the art comes from the life. Oh, absolutely. You know? right. Yeah. And it's um, it's amazing. And, and speaking of blooming, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. 
But this is the picture that I... Oh, I like that. That I painted, right? And that's just watercolors, right? Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, you know, I, I never tried flowers or anything like that before, and so it's like, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. But again, it's part of the, you know, like you said, it's the part of the whole blooming process, right? Yeah. You are that so, flower. You it's been good. Yeah. So That's awesome. Yeah. It is. I'm I'm enjoying it. Well, so now that you're like all unplugged and stuff, <laughs> what do we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's still lots. That's for sure. Still all lots. Right. All right, lay it on me, girl. What do you got? Yeah. Well, you know, um, as I'm as I'm going through this, um, like even even parts. I guess with my relationship, um, even though it gets, um, it's slowly, it's it's moving now, finally, after all these years. Um, mm -hmm. But um, you know, I was I was thinking about it and how I always um, tried to live so much for other people, right? And a realization came to me just not too long ago about, um, like when I was going through and reading this, is how getting connected with myself. Um, you know, initially when I talk to my fiance, you know, he's not really sure of the new me, right? Because I am standing up and speaking out and, you know, being the person that I am. Um, in the long run, I think it will be, it'll make our relationship so much stronger, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, being more confident in, in who I am and the person I am will be able to, or will allow me to support him. Like, like he's got his own company and stuff, right? And so just being able to get in there and have this confidence that I didn't have before, I'm really excited to step in and help him take his company to the next level too, right? Sweet. So, yeah, it's, um, so, it, yeah, it's touched a lot of different areas, a lot of different areas, so. So yeah. incredible. Yeah. It's, Isn't um, it amazing how when we like start stepping into our own and, and our, into our own power, like how that really does have ripple effects in every area of our life? It does. It does. It really Not does. Not just our creativity. Yeah, but you know, and I think too with with creativity, um, that also can flow over into business oh, as for well, sure. right? For sure. And then it opens up you know, your ability to look at things differently and it's like, okay, well, here, let's take this and run with it, right? And so now, you know, he wants me to start working on his his internet presence and start doing all of that kind of stuff for him, right? Because mm -hmm. he's he's starting to like where my creativity is, is taking me as well. So he's excited for that kind of stuff now too. And it's like, okay, well, you can do all my web pages and you can do this and you can do, you know, all the marketing stuff. So it's like, Okay, cool. You know, as you before, it's like, no, I, I don't want to do it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to screw it up, or you know, like, you know. But now it's like, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, just bring it on. It. Let's go for it. I freaking love it. Yeah. So, it's good. It's good. Sweet. Sweet. Mm -hmm. That's freaking sweet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, Brenda, I have to pee. Hang on okay. a second. You I'm go ahead. Come right back. <laughs> Dave, Dave, talk with Brenda for a little bit. Well, Katerina pees. Um, me and Katie will <laughs> entertain. Okay. <laughs> uh, this girl is intermission. Lighter. <laughs> You're not a hundred thousand pounds, Tilly. <laughs> See? She's already learning to exaggerate. She's not even a teenager yet. How old are you? 
eight. Eight. Oh, that's an awesome age. I'm in third grade now. Third grade. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun time. Are you liking school? Yes. Awesome. My son, he likes school too, so that makes things really good. I can't see you guys. You can't? Why? We're right here. I see the <laughs> video box thing and both Your video is gone. are in the picture, so I don't know why you're not able to see. Try clicking on our little box if you want to make the view bigger. No, all I'm getting is your um, is the paradigm shift picture. Really? Yeah. That's weird. All right, I'm back. Maybe you don't have enough bandwidth available to see it. Um, Katarina, can you see me, Katie? Yeah, I'm, I can see you. Okay. Does, has Brent, anybody Brent else I'm happy? Not. Brenda can't see us, so there, she might not have enough bandwidth to get I, think to I was having issues earlier tonight with the Skype thing, too, so. Yeah. It's okay. It's, I think it's probably the weather. Could be that, too. It's pretty cold up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty cold here, too. But has, anyone, has anyone heard from We're having a though? heat wave. It's 12 degrees. Dave. <laughs> Has anyone heard from Happy? I know she said she was no, on her way I home. No, I haven't heard nothing. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is, um, if Brenda, if you don't have anything else um, more, really, to talk about or anything, I think I might just do a session with Happy, like, later tonight. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, I think well, that I, I guess I have to blow my surprise then. In about four minutes or less, Jay's going to be popping on. Oh, well, I'd rather, I'd rather do that another time with you and Jay, because Brenda actually has a time commitment that she has to uh, go to. Yeah, I, I was going to have them pop in and surprise y'all, but so much for the surprise. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm really pleased with how this phone yeah. conversation went. I think this is really, really great stuff. I mean... Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't see any work that needs to be done here right now. I mean, <laughs> so, well, Katarina, seeing as part of the whole thing is is all about fun and being oneself anyway, you could stick around with me, Katie and Jay, for a little bit. I would, but I'm actually at a friend's house right now, and I had to step out. Uh, oh. So there's three people that are in a room that are like, you know, patiently waiting for me. But I, I definitely <laughs> wanted to make this. I definitely wanted to make this uh, happen because I so really you missed and you all. Brenda both synchronistically have to go. Well, Happy synchronistically seems to not be showing up. Well, Jay is synchronistically delayed. <laughs> right. There you go. And that's the universe I, for you. That's the universe for you. There you go. Brenda, stay in Nature touch. I would really love me, to um, connect with you next week. Absolutely. And, um. If you can manage to fit me in into your busy life, your busy, ever-expanding life, which I am so pleased about. Yes. <laughs> it's happening. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, my heart is so happy for you. Yes. It's it's really, 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 really. But Happy's not here. <laughs> oh, she will be. She's running late. She and I run on our own clocks. It's funny. Like synchronistic. That's kind of how I allow all of this to be conducted, is just synchronicity. Like, because mm -hmm. it's so hard to have people commit to times throughout the week. It's, I've been noticing this as a facilitator. It, it started to drive me nuts, and I was like, okay, I gotta let go. I gotta let go so, to this. Am I gonna be needed flow. later then, or what? How are we rolling? Um, if Happy doesn't show up, uh, I, because uh, Paul and I still have to go back on the motorcycle up mm -hmm. a mountain, and it's nighttime right now. <laughs> so You'll be I don't want to die. Around the mountain <laughs> when you come. You'll be coming around the mountain when you come. You'll be coming around the mountain. You'll be coming around the mountain. You'll be coming around the mountain when you come. But don't take that to an 18 plus context. 
Right. <laughs> All right, folks. Okay, well, you guys have a good evening. You too. And hopefully we'll see you again this time next week. Hopefully. That would really Watch, be good for Watch, the me. milliseconds you guys leave will be exactly when Jay pops in. Just you wait. And Happy will show up, too. He well, said, then Jay I'll do, I'll do gonna, something else with Jay Happy. Jay said he's going to be in here in 50 seconds. So let's wait that long so that we can tell him that we're shutting it down. Because <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> Jay can get in the last couple of minutes of this thing before we hit the button. Because <laughs> Jay just messaged me on Skype. He said, 50 seconds. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. The universe has weird timing today. It seems to be that way for this year so far, actually. Right? Maybe his energy is just too profound today. That or he ate a lot of beans. I'm not entirely sure which. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a big old store bag of beans at his place. You can ask him. He's, he's got it. That and some rice and a bunch of other things. He does. Man, his roommate must love him when there's nothing else to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. He's not showing up. I'm out of here. Uh, like I said, the second you're gone, he'll be right in the <laughs> thing. Love you. Thank you, you so much for tonight, too. Brenda. Thank you so much okay. for this. Absolutely. Yes, we'll talk to you again next week. Bye, Catalina. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Now we're just going to wait here the next, you know, few seconds or whatever for Jay. He's going to pop in and it's just going to be like, oh, sorry, Universe said nope. <laughs> crazy timing. That's just crazy. I can see my pig. Yeah, you can, you can see it back there, can't you? It's right back over there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a reflection. Well, it's not a reflection. It's, yeah, it's, it's actually coming through the camera. This isn't a mirror. It's a camera. <laughs> it almost looks like there's two pigs. One in the movie and one in the bed. Jay needs to learn how to count. It's been more than 50 seconds. That <laughs> it is 870. No, I mean he's taken more than 50 seconds. Because he sent his message at 8.04 and 53 seconds, and it is now 8.07 and 50 seconds. Ah. Uh. And here's Jay. Hey, Jay. Hi. Universe and synchronicity cut everything short. We waited a, a, a little tiny bit. And I said, I told him, I told him, I said, watch, right after you leave, he'll show up. And that's exactly what happened. But well, you know, I was downloading Babylon 5 and all that, and I need, for some reason I needed to uh, download the Google Hangouts thing on this computer, and it wouldn't let me, so I had to do all kinds of stuff to shut all the other programs down that were downloading and then download it. <laughs> Say hi to Jay, Katie. Hi, Jay. Hi, how you been doing? You're back You've there. Grown. You've grown a bit. Yeah, we were we were joking around about the synchronicity and the timing. We said uh, either your energy's too profound tonight or you ate a lot of beans. We're not entirely sure which, but uh <laughs> Well, it was probably too profound for the other people. Yeah, I guess how profound. This was cut really short because it was just um, yeah. me, Katerina, Brenda, and Katie. Um, Happy couldn't make it this time. Uh -huh. And um, she was going to come. She kept telling us soon, soon, soon. And, you know, it kept getting more and more delayed. So she wasn't showing up. Synchronistically, Brenda had to leave early. And then 
even more so synchronistically, Katerina also had to leave early. She could have stretched it longer, you know, if she absolutely had to, but she happened to, to be with uh, friends at a friend's house, her, her and Paul over in Costa Rica were at like a friend's house so there was like three people waiting on her you know so that was synchronistic and then the fact that you were delayed was synchronistic and then as soon as they leave you show up so now it's just me you and Katie <laughs> I mean we're still well, that's what I'm saying. We're, we're, yeah we're still recording it into the webinar so all the other people who normally participate in the webinar they will mm -hmm. be seeing all this in, in retrospect. So, hi everybody, this is Jay Larson. <laughs> and here's the synchronistic little aftermath. Also, also known as Free Energy Jay and the disembodied voice. <laughs> yeah, my it's mom calls mother. disembodied voice when the camera's not on and she hears you. It's like, oh, disembodied voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, because you and me are on and everybody left, I actually get to get get a few words in for, for a minute here. Usually, you know, I just kind of shut up and let them do what they need to do with only occasional little interjections, comic relief, whatever. Or when I'm called upon from the abyss. Because usually I have my camera turned off while they're doing their thing. But usually oh. there's more people and usually Katie's not here. So this time I had it on for oh. Katie. I, uh, uh, I, I'm downloading a torrent that has Eureka on it. Ah, well, I get that. The uh, first three of the series, three first three years. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's five seasons in total. I yeah. Watching all that the other day. And also the bat. Oh. Well, you know, technically, I mean, this I webinar, uh, obviously... So I've been got... downloading that with the uh, Babylon. Yeah, the webinar obviously got kind of cut short because, you know, of the ladies not being able to... I'm losing your voice for some reason. And this is, um, you know, um, overcoming creativity blocks. So as long as we're here on this after the fact, but people are going to be watching this later, yeah. How about uh, why don't we get Jay Larson's take on overcoming creativity blocks? Go for it. This is the and now my mom is uh, coming in. I'm well, on a webinar and we're recording. You want uh, to see world? Pretty, pretty. Yeah, Katie's mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, in a few minutes, uh, your mom wants you back. <laughs> yeah, Katie's coming probably for bed. Okay, we, uh, all night, that's why. The bed. I think the biggest creativity block is thinking too much. Now, if you if you go into your heart and feel, uh, ideas always start popping up out of the. And little of melodies the, for toys are bring up synchronous. What? <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Can you see her back there, or is it cut off? On the <laughs> Can you see her back there? Yeah, 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 I can see her back there. She's grown quite a bit, too. Okay. I, yeah. I wasn't sure if she was able to be seen. Oh, I was just wondering, if she is she the one wearing the sunglasses? <laughs> yep. so, oh, yeah. Uh, sure. Actually, uh, creativity, greatest creativity... <laughs> Uh, the greatest creativity blocks are always uh, allowing your mind um, to try to think too much about what you're going to create instead of just feeling it. Just getting in a mood of creating or into your emotion, and the best way to do that is to focus on your heart and just let it flow. 
because the mind wants um, to micromanage. Um, two biggest things. Uh, past and uh, fearing the consequences for the future. So you kind of got one foot in the past, one one foot in the well, future. Not, You're not... Not, a, not only that, um, whatever the... Um, mind has its limits, and it has a tendency to limit but your Hold creativity minute, because Katie. if it... Hold on a minute, Jay. Katie, it's, it's been a few minutes and your mommy wants you downstairs and we don't want to make her angry. So come over here and say goodnight to Jay. Goodnight, Jay. And then, um, you know, go back down and see your good, mom. And good night. want you to. Uh, have a good time. Hey, you've grown quite a bit. What grade are good. you in? Good. She's in third grade. Oh, oh, that's good. I can remember the third grade like it was yesterday. You and me both. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, she is returning back down there, so now it's just you and me. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, yes, uh, because uh, um, you're running against basically two things belief systems and also things you're. Uh, your your conception of what's good and bad, um, and bo both those are basically uh, mental constructs. And so, what you want to do basically is the first thing is to get get out of your head and into your heart, and it allows you access beyond your normal uh, four walls of your bedroom, so to speak. Yeah. I always tell people that imagination is key because imagination isn't just something that um, allows you to create fictions out, out of nothing. It um, alters your perspective mm -hmm. and um, allows your, your subconscious to, to communicate information forward because um, your con... Your, your, your subconscious is almost like a hard drive. You know, you could have virtually an endless amount of stuff on there. But your conscious is, is you know, it's like your memory. As a matter of fact, that mem memory sticks right here. And I also have an old hard drive partially uh, dissected here. So th this, uh, uh, this can be good illustration. So... This memory here represents mm. the, the conscious mind, and that can only hold a very limited amount. Now, the subconscious mind has a lot more dry space than this, and um, seeing as your DNA, it's scientifically proven that it's always sending information not only on the molecular level but biophotons. You can kind of con consider your DNA in general to be your your internet connection to to the rest of reality. So it does work just like a computer. You've got your your hard drive for for your bulk data, everything you've seen, heard, smelled, talked about, whatever conceptual information. Then you know your conscious mind is what you're you know using immediately, and we always try. We know we can't store this in here, but we try and we fail and we go into like this panic mode. Well, when we use our imagination, that clears this, allows us to access that internet connection and the data that's on this. Whereas if we're just in the mind, we're trying to use this only, what little is in here, we're completely ignoring this, and we're not tapping into the DNA internet connection, so to speak. So we panic. I love being a computer geek. Do all sorts of funny analogies. They work, though. So what do you guys say about that? Okay, are you still here? Well, uh, I, I 
feel that it's more like, uh, yes, I'm still here. Uh, we're getting back time and we're getting interference. Um, ah. I would consider it a little more uh, ex extended. Uh, it's like it, it's like it's like having a personal hard drive. It's like having the internet, and it's also like having cloud space on the internet because yeah. you don't store everything on your hard drive. The and rest so of it's stored on the DNA cloud DNA space. DNA. You know, it's like uh, making a query quest. A lot of times, it's not on a on another computer. It's it's sort of uh, cloud memory. Um, it like a collective memory. It yeah. you can uh, grab things that you've never done before and understand things that you've never done before. By retrieving them off this cloud type system as well. Now yeah, your DNA, DNA is, like is much hard. like your regular hard. Right, and it, it it will contain your your perceived experiences, uh, past, present, and future, plus your uh, your your alternate alternate uh, you know, um, parallel world type experiences as well. Well, not a, not everybody's um, belief systems go go in that direction. So just keeping it basic to you know science and quantum physics and and things like that. Mm. Basically, the what you're suggesting and agreeing with me on there is that um, imagination is the tool that unlocks that uh, all of that extra information mm. because um, you know then it, hey. it's like. You know, Dave. the mind isn't constipated. What's up, Katarina? Um, Happy's available now. Um, oh, cool. I'm to interrupt, but I need you to host a hangout. Yeah, um, I never ended the other one. Me and Jay were just talking about how to overcome creativity blocks. Okay, so let's have her join. Okay, and so this is just like, you know, a little intermission for the viewers who watch later. Maybe they grab their popcorn and we were entertaining. And now, welcome back to our regularly scheduled Katarina, scheduled by the universe. Oh, hang um, on. I'm going to go get my charger. So um, can you deal with Happy really quick? And sure. I'm, I'm grabbing the link. the link right now, so I'm going to toss that over to her via the Facebook group. All right, I'm going to go grab my phone charger so my phone doesn't die. I just sent her the link. Well, Jay, I guess I guess you kind of came as a placeholder. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if, not, if, if not for your arrival, we would have had to shut this down. Mm-hmm. So you, you kind of came as a placeholder. Can you still hear me, Katerina? I can hear you loud and clear. First, it was me, Jay, and Katie. Then um, Katie's mom wants her to go to bed because tomorrow's a school night. And that happened a few minutes before you came back. And, um, you know, me and Jay were just... Um, we, we were even using uh, analogies for the creativity blocks because imagination kind of opens you up and unconstipates the brain, so to speak. And seeing as I have a, a dissected hard drive right here, mm -hmm. I was stating that imagination opens up the access. This memory chip is like the conscious mind. There, there's a limited amount that you can store in here. The subconscious mind is like the hard drive, and the D your DNA is like the like your Wi-Fi connection. And mm -hmm. so imagination allows you to open up the access and connect it. So now the subconscious mind can throw data to the conscious, and then both can 
access that Wi-Fi connection. And in order to to um, use that internet and that that extra space, you got to be heart centered because that's what the imagination's about. Hey, happy! Cool. Here's hey, your happy. here's your conscious mind, and here's your subconscious mind, and here's both of those on drugs. Drugs are bad. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty, Dave. Unless, it, unless it's medical marijuana, then cool. But, you know, no heroin, please. Oh, darn. <laughs> uh, this is Jay Larson, Happy. Hello, Jay. Hello, Happy. She's happy to meet you. Happy to meet you. <laughs> I got my cool glasses on. Yeah. I the see Matrix that. The has you, Neo. <laughs> All right, Dave. I'm gonna talk to me happy. I've been waiting for her. Okay, cool. This is where me and Jay uh, shut the <clears throat> up and um, let you, you ladies, take it away. Thank so I'm gonna you. mute out now. <laughs> happy. Hey. Oh no! What happened? Hold on, I missed that. Okay, there you are. There you are. <laughs> I pressed another tab. I was like, ah. All right, there you are. Wow, it's been oh forever. My gosh, I wish I wish you could have been on earlier with Brenda. You'll have to watch Aww. the replay, but Brenda's doing so well. Awesome. Uh, that is so awesome. I'm That's so fabulous. happy about it. <laughs> so happy that is about so, it. That is so awesome. I'm oh, and by the way, read. Happy, Katie was so cute. You missed it. You definitely got to watch the replay to watch Katie. She's adorable. Oh, She's Katie, adorable. you got yeah, it. Katie was here. <laughs> Katie was awesome. here for a while, so she she was acting so cute. You can catch Aww. it on the replay after this, but just letting you know that it's there. I'm definitely gonna watch it. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to get in earlier, but we were up at the mountain, so we we're house hunting, so <laughs> I wasn't able it to get down. It worked out perfect. It was already fine. Awesome. I know. I just like to be a part of it all together. It's really oh, cool. Oh, for sure. I understand. Yeah, to interact. But yeah, that's good to hear. I can't wait to watch it, see her progress. And yeah. What? So you, you're house hunting. I mean, I see yeah. things are going well. Yeah, they're going well. Um, it's just house hunting. <laughs> How fun is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's in a new area here, so you know we're like kind of. California on this side of San Francisco, but San Francisco is pretty nice and pricey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so that's what we've been doing mostly, other than. And so I haven't done this particular week's. I believe it's this week's week nine. Oh, is that what you week? Are ahead of the game. Am I? Yeah, well, I didn't do week nine yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, doing it today. So Week nine is now what's starting, but we were just oh, finishing good. up week eight. Oh, good. Oh, I thought it was behind. I was like, oh, how could I do that? But good, then. Mainly because right, we didn't all get to meet, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good, good, good. So I, I, I was going to do that today, and I thought, man, I should have already done it. But nope, you're fine. Good deal. So I'm on, on schedule. Of course I am. <laughs> Everything's always on time. Everything, always on schedule. Even you. Good deal. I know. Yeah, even late, I'm on schedule. Yes, of course. So, yeah. Hey, Dave and Jay, do you think you guys could um, bleep out your screens? Because it's actually quite distracting. Oh, rats. And I actually have some plastic rats here, too, but um, I'll spare you the torture. Thank you. <laughs> I'm heading into the abyss now. Seven. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Week seven. Oh, we're on six and seven, right? Yes. Did we? We didn't go over six yet, did we? Honestly, everything's gotten so mixed up. We can go over whatever week you like at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've all been good. So I mean, it, it's, I've not had any hangups or anything. It's all been just flowing so good. Um, Creativity-wise, oh my goodness, I can't move my fingers fast enough to keep up with everything that's coming out. So I can see um, your hair color, even. I know, and tomorrow I'm going to, well, maybe the next day I'm going to do it again. Because <laughs> it's just so fun. It just keeps me happy, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll just 
follow you because I've had awesome I was actually just telling Brenda that I am in a location right now where I didn't expect to be away from my book and I oh. don't have my book with me. Okay. So, That's bad cool. teacher. Never. Never <laughs> ever. Not a chance. But, but she and I were talking about week seven being like the week of connection and like also week eight, you know, being the mm -hmm. sense of possibility. And we, we were discussing mm. a lot on those two because everything that she has been going through has been about recovering that sense of possibility through that reconnection with herself. Oh, and yeah. I, I see that happening with you too because you're having this massive reconnection with yourself. Oh, so yeah. all of these possibilities <laughs> and doors are being blown open for you. Big time. Yes. And I can feel the like yesness of it. You know, like, yeah, yes yeah, keep going, yeah. keep going. <laughs> you go, girl. So, yeah, and, and it's so to I skip some of the things that didn't resonate, you know, some of the things because I feel like if I was if I wasn't fill in where I'm at right now, they would be beneficial, but mm -hmm. because they were to take me to the place that I am right now, but I excelled there really fast, um, you know, mm -hmm. because I, I, gra I grasped this really well. It feels really good, so mm -hmm. um, the things that, did, like jealousy and stuff like that, it, I, I, I kind of, are, are you, so, <laughs> I looked up and you weren't there, there was a different picture, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it threw me off. Um, just some things that didn't, um, you know, that I didn't feel the need to go backwards on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, like, a few weeks ago, I, I went through that. <laughs> so, or maybe, maybe it's longer than a few weeks. But, yeah, it's been fabulous. Let's see. Um, so, what do you want me to pick from here? There's so much. I want you to pick whatever's oh, jumping at you right now. For you to bring okay, to the I'll table. Okay, I'll go backwards. So I'll go back to week seven. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Um. Gosh, it's just all been. All of this was fun and good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, these were fun. Okay, so. The synchronicities of week seven were so cool, and I, I actually wrote it down every time there was a synchronicity. I was like, um, in my in my notes, I would write like here it's synchronicity, and I had several of them. One here, two, um, three, four, and it was just because you know, like it went so well. My week went so well with the the, the task. It was just great. It was like, how did that happen? <laughs> Of course I know how, but it was great to, to see it unfold and like document it, you know, um, mm -hmm. because because I would be doing something and then it would be right in line with that, um, what it's telling me to do for the task. So it was like, wow, that is so cool. Now I have to do it because this book's telling me to do it. So <laughs> mm -hmm. It makes it more concrete. You must do this now. So... Um, I bought myself something wonderful, and actually I bought it the day before, and it was so good because I'd been waiting to buy this one thing, and I was like, no, I'll, I'll buy it some other time, I'll buy it some other time, and then, then I bought it, and then I read, buy yourself something, you know, <laughs> and I was like, oh, great, I just did, <laughs> so that worked out, and then let's see, number seven says a synchronicity, love this, um... Oh, right. I had been wanting to get a stack of magazines, right? This number seven, task seven. Um, let me see if I can go back. A collage, right? Mm -hmm. And so it says get a stack of ten magazines. And for weeks I was like, I want to get these magazines, but it was for my art because I usually cut around and take things out and put it in my paintings. And I kept putting it off and I was like, no, no, I'll just wait. There'll be another day. And that's been months actually. And so when that happened, I was like, oh, wow, now I have to. <laughs> so I was like, perfect, perfect. And so I did that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all of this because then it goes on to your five, five favorite films. <laughs> and I'm just curious what yours were because mine were from childhood, I think. <laughs> my five favorite films. I can name them off the top of my head. Let's hear it. 
Okay, so there's The Red Violin. That was my very first favorite movie. I've never seen that. I, it came out when I was I like watch four it. or something. It was, it oh, was wow. like the first rated R movie I ever saw, and I was like, oh, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so right, well, after that, it. there's Amelie. I've never seen uh, that it's a really great one. There's Garden State. Okay, okay I got to catch up because I ain't seen none of those. <laughs> <laughs> what the okay. world? And okay, then there is I Heart Huckabees. I wanted to see that. It's a great uh, one. It's a really, really a good one. Okay, I've got to see that. Huckabees. Okay. And number five. What would I say number five is? Hmm. No, as stupid as it is, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, I almost made that my number five, too. I love that movie. I love it. That, it's so I've seen that one. In fact, we just watched it again the other day because I just love to go back in that feeling. That was so the 80s. <laughs> right, right. So funny. Yeah, I, lo I love that movie. It was almost my number five, and I first and I so should have, but instead I chose Santa Claus 3. But it's really, <laughs> it's so really Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> so, so, yeah, my five were, my absolute favorite is Drop Dead Fred. Have you seen that? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, um, I watched it when I was a kid. I absolutely love that. And my number two is Beetlejuice. Um, I love Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> and then number three was Howard the Duck. And then four was Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> and then, of course, um, Santa Claus 3. But really, I was like, I even marked it out. And I was like, yes, no, yes, no. And so, in the end, I left Santa Claus 3. But really... It's so Napoleon, because we were yeah. watching it at this time. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I love that movie. So, Great movie. Yeah, it's fun. Let's see, number nine. Topics to reread. Oh, that I read. Yeah, I love how this all came together and showed me, like, an outline of what I'm really so interested in. You know, it's just, it was really good. Really good to do all of this and the collage and... I don't know if I just went into a different week. No, I'm on number nine, right? Okay, still the same week. And then... Now we're in week eight. I don't know. Do you have any questions for me on week seven? Um, on week seven, I'm interested in how the connection that you're reestablishing is kind of affecting other areas of your life that are not your art. Oh, in every way. Like, it's 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 the whole realm of, like, who you are, the essence of who you are. Um, you know, every, every bit of it is unfolding. It's so cool to allow myself to do things that not necessarily have to do with art, but because I have that, that confidence and mm -hmm. that underlying feeling that has changed and and allowed myself to be okay with those things, you know, not even just okay, but the like, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm doing that, I want to do that, and so, yeah, it, 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 like, bleeds off into the wholeness of who you are, you know, in every aspect, um, so, and I just, I just want to show you, <laughs> it is so funny to look at this, I was working on this the last two days, and I really love graffiti, and I've always wanted to do graffiti, and I'm like, oh, I can't. That's for those people that really know how to do graffiti. Mm -hmm. But over the last week, I've felt so strong that, you know what, if you really want to do it, just start somewhere. And it doesn't matter how silly it looks or whatever, just start there. And then in three or four months, you'll look back and be like, wow, I've really expanded. Because mm -hmm. it's always been something I've been really drawn to. So this is my, <laughs> and it's, it's silly as it is, <laughs> my first... Um, it's, I'm still in the outline phases. I don't know if you can see what it says. Feel good. If you can make out words there. Feels is it good. Readable. <laughs> is feels good. Happy. Happy. happy are you there? Happy. Ah, uh, there we are. I was talking and talking. And I was like, I think I lost you. <laughs> I, I, I read it. I think it said feels good. 
Yeah. Oh, you're not supposed to be able to see it. <laughs> isn't, that the, isn't that the point? No, I knew you'd be able to because I was like, I don't know how to do this. But anyway, it's just the fun I like it, of starting, you know, a new adventure. That's a truly new adventure there. New that, adventure. I mean, yeah. you know, Brenda, Brenda, she had a new adventure too. I mean, you'll see in her video, mm -hmm. in the video of her, um, you know, she was starting to venture into watercolors. She never does a never Ooh. paints in watercolors. And she painted oh, yes. flowers, subject matter she never paints. Because wow. it's kind of representing her, kind of opening, like, blossoming and, and blossoming. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I was actually doing a flower the other day, and I thought, you know what, I'm not ready for flowers, but I really like the idea. I think an abstract flower <laughs> it mm -hmm. would be best for me. Because in, in trueness, like, I like more of the abstract look of things. So it's not like you can look right at it and tell exactly what it is. So. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that's why, or maybe I'm still coming to an understanding on that, but I was doing a flower just the other day, and I did a watercolor because I was, I think a Dorsen, the baby had some watercolors, and I was like, this is so much fun. Like, it has a whole different look than the other paints that I have. So now next week I'm going to do um, chalk. Um, what is that? Uh, I don't know. I'd walk like, chalk? Um, no, it, they're like pastels, I guess, you're talk that I'm talking about. Um, oil pastel? Maybe. Soft pastel? Yeah, yeah some, they're, they're, they oil look like little pastel. chalks. But they're pastels, and um, I had someone show me before, and like, she would get them wet a little bit mm -hmm. and do work with them. It was so cool, and so you could do it dry or wet. And so I'm going to incorporate mm -hmm. that because I like that aspect of it. So Soft pastels are the ones that you do that with. That's probably what they are. See, I don't even know what they're called. I just can see them in my head, and I'm like, i got to have that. <laughs> so so yeah, that's going to be next week. Uh-oh, so we got the door. Let me, let me grab that real quick. Okay. <sighs> I just love watching these women come to life. I'm just saying that to you. Jay and Dave. Dave, it must have felt something similar when you were working with me. Yep. Most certainly. Most certainly. Synchronistic timing for calling on me here, too, because I, I actually just came back upstairs from uh, using the facilities. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's funny, when I, when I went in to say, uh, to say goodnight to Katie... Um, the TV was on where, where, where she was, and um, Katie was like, good night, Dave, I love you, and I was going to say, I, uh, I love you too, but while she was saying, good night, Dave, I love you, someone on the TV was saying, I love you, and then when I was about to say, I love you too, the other person on the TV responded, I love you too. I'm like, well, that was synchronistic. <laughs> it was like all perfect timing. What all of this is. All of this is just like this huge orchestrated perfect timing thing, which is why I don't freak out whenever these things don't come together, you know? Looks like she's back on, or will be. <laughs> Alrighty. I will disappear back into the abyss then. I'm going back into the Matrix, Neo. All right. Do you think that real what is real? If real is what you can see and hear and taste and touch and smell, then real is nothing more than electrical impulses being interpreted by your brain. <laughs> or not. I see her head shadow shadow. Bobbing around. Is she there? Is she there? Is she there? Is she there? I think she's there. Oh, oh. False. Nothing more than electrical impulses in this. Ooh. Right here. Mm -hmm. This is your brain. This is your brain on Fox News, those lying sons of bitches. 
This is what Fox News does to your brain. It turns it into fucking mush. It squeezes it, makes you a freaking zombie, Dave, and then Dave, it's you. Dave. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, come on, a little bit of a comedy routine there. Whoa. 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 You're shifting on and off. I am? The Matrix has you, Katarina. Physical reality is the quantum hologram. Dave. Mr. Anderson is going to come and visit you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Anderson. We missed you. And look, I can do matrix moves. Floor's happy. <laughs> Welcome to me. <laughs> I don't know, where is happy? Can you send her a message on Facebook? Because I think she didn't realize that she dropped off or something. <laughs> Yeah, apparently not. Um, no momento, and I shall do so. Well, I messaged her in the um, Facebook group, so it's all up to her now. Uh -huh. Oh, and another part of overcoming your creativity bo blocks is remaining healthy. And this is vitamin D3 gold, um, 5,000 IU. And um, got that on Amazon. It's non-GMO. I take two of these a day. Your body needs at least 10,000 IU. And as per the Illuminati Agenda 21, the stuff you get in the mainstream stores doesn't have anywhere near what you actually need. But you can get this on Amazon. And two of these, 10,000 IU, it's what your body needs. Hell, I sleep better. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> and I, I have more energy. My dad takes these, too. It's freaking awesome. Well, it's true. Vitamin D3. I mean, that's why I'm in Costa Rica, you know? Yeah. Because I get lots of vitamin D. And uh, corny, corny name aside, um, these are probiotics. And those help with uh, digestion and immune system. And these are pretty cool. They're not that expensive. And I got that on Amazon as well. Life extension. Because I want to oh, live and, uh, You know what else is really uh, well, healthy I too? Check this out. We got colloidal silver. Colloidal gold, and um, is my video showing? Yes, it's showing. Okay, because I had my little icon for some reason. Colloidal gold and silver, and I also mixed it with a little bit of the um, nascent iodine, so I shake it up before I take it. Uh, the stuff that they're advertising that you can get through InfoWars. And um, all that is uh, good for helping your body uh, kick out toxins, and um, it's good for your brain because your synapses pass electrical charges between them, and just like a computer, you know, um, silver and gold are highly conductive. So when those particles get on there, it actually increases brain function. I've actually um, found it a lot easier to concentrate and to be creative um, when I'm using that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it does what work. I, I, I can tell the difference. What I like to do when I have a creative block is I get out a set of Legos and, and play. A lot of times things I get all kinds of ideas when playing with Lego blocks. Beans and you rice. You can play with your own count. blocks. <laughs> Beans and rice don't count, Jay. I mean, I'm sure you're talented enough to, like, stack them up because you're just magical like that. That doesn't count as Legos. Well, if you play with your blocks, the blocks don't become serious and yeah. your creativity comes through. 
So, folks, when we say that people like to watch Jay play with himself, it's not what you're thinking, you sickos. Why am I only seeing uh, both of your icons and, and no video? Um, because uh, I'm oh. talking, I'm trying to type to happy right now. Oh, okay. Mm. I thought something was malfunctioning again, because for a moment I was seeing, like, my icon up there, too, like I'm seeing now. Well, my icon's up because uh, I went, the quickest way to shut off the photo was to unplug the camera here. And then when I plugged it back in, it hasn't come back up. Oh, okay. Hey, Dave. I'm, I'm here. Yes? Dave, I just sent Happy a message because Paul and I are going to have to leave soon. Okay. Uh, we're, we're over at our friend Randy and Vicky's house, and uh, we're just finishing up, and it's almost 9 o'clock and everything, so mm -hmm. we still have to ride back to our place on a motorcycle. So it's kind of late and dangerous and dark and... Mm -hmm. We need to I know get you going. said you wanted to introduce me to Paul. I'm right here. I know. He's talking right now with Randy and Vicky, so it's not a good time. Okay. I don't want to interrupt their conversation. But if Happy's, I don't think Happy's showing back up right now, but mm. I would really like to continue with her at a later time when I'm not as tired. Yeah. So... Um, Hey, when you and Paul getting your internet connected, by the way? We already went down to the Issei office, which is the computer MyMax place, the Wi-Fi place, and um, we're supposed to be hearing back from them within a week or so. So. Okay. Because isn't your um, your uh, tourist visa only till like March or something? Yeah, it's till March, but I'm going to Nicaragua for a couple days, and then it'll refresh for another 90 days. Really? Yeah. So all you're doing is crossing the border and cross back, and then you got another 90. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, what I'm doing, though, is I'm actually going to tour the other country for a little bit, for a couple days. Yeah. We're going to make a vacation out of it. Oh, cool. Yeah. But I'm sleepy and a little hungry, so... I'm going to peace out. Not uh, hungry, Nicaragua. <laughs> Wrong continent. Thank you. <laughs> but if Happy comes back, let her know that um, I will catch up with her later, and we will continue our conversation. That um, Just by the nature of the time difference and everything like that, I, I had to get going. Okay. Okay. I love you very much. Thank you so much for helping conduct this, and thanks, Jay, for popping on and being a good interlude. Oh, I, I enjoy it. I really appreciate it. I'd love to connect with you guys soon and be able to actually actually have a conversation with you two. It's been yeah. a long time. I mean, the only reason we haven't done more is because your previous internet access has been, you know, um, more dysfunctional than a frickin' fence witch, so um, we've tried and tried, and it hasn't really connected but well, now also, you're I, left, I left the place now that I was at, um, yeah. the place I was volunteering at. And so now I'm over at Paul's place in a different city, and there's not Wi-Fi there yet. So there should be, and it should be good, fast Wi-Fi. Good. So. Yeah, so when, once you got that, then obviously we'll be talking more. The, the Internet connection is really the only thing that's, that's prevented us. So. Correct. Love you guys. Love you, too. Take care, my friends. Love you, too. I love you, too, Jay. Have a... Have a what? Have a grand adventure. Thank you. Me, me, me and Jay will stay on a, a little longer. To, Have a grand adventure. Uh, to to uh, do a little time travel torture on your students, you know, when they when they watch this later. But, um... Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Your video still not cooperating over there? No, let me. I tried to uh, reset it, but it, it don't want to reset. Weird. Because I'm. Well, I unplugged it. Let's see if I can get it now. Hold on. I don't have that problem on Linux.
Okay, let's see what that does. That should should show make my video come up. So far, I just got an icon. Hmm. Nope, it's just showing the icon. Try to test your scam, uh, your camera using the Skype uh, video test and the options. Um, well, you it will be able to come on if I'm using. I don't have a video test on here; just a sound test on Skype. Really? Right. Because my Skype has a video test for the camera. Under video devices, there's a little screen I could test the camera. And not only that, my Skype's kind of acting up right this minute. Mm. Uh, but you got to remember, I, I'm max out, maxing out my usage on the internet as it is because I'm yeah, downloading that about. Uh, camera not work. That should have nothing to do with it. Hmm. No, really, I do use Lego blocks to break, to break uh, creative um, blocks when I'm having them. You go out and play, and play, play has a tendency to make you more creative. And I do it also as basically a fun that you actually can have control over your blocks. Mm -hmm. So you use Legos because you ran out of pop tarts to to make your little AK forty seven to bring into the kindergarten class. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't want a, the pop tart to explode in my face. Man, that's what she said. Yeah, you pull a pop tart and say, "Eat this," and they look at you in shock and horror. The GMOs could kill you. Yep. You know, that's what we thought. <laughs> Desiree made this. Yeah. I, it's a clay image one. Mm -hmm. Looks very, she, did, she did the cartoon. Very close to the cartoon. She did the cartoon yeah, representation of, of uh, Fence Witch, and then she made the clay one. It's funny. Well, uh, you know what? If if she made a mo, uh, if you take that and and get yourself some rubber, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Uh, the molding type rubber. Yeah, well, any it. guy that would get close to fence, which definitely going to need a rubber if he's desperate enough to, get, you know, do anything you know, with that. I, well, <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm talking about casting rubber, and you could make a mold to make those ceramic ones, add, add them to your, um, and start selling fence switches to go with your fence switch <laughs> videos. You know, have a product line. You know. If you made him show like Barbie, you come, come out with a doll to promote your show, you know. Just like the other movies that are made, you know, they have their own product line. It comes out on it to make extra. Nah, I think I'll just wait for the 3D printed version. Or, my, or make something like like that fish with teeth for your pond ski. <laughs> yeah, something like that. There's a phone call coming in. It's downstairs. Yeah, Dad, what's up? No. Mm-mm. Yeah, I've been up here on this video conference. Alrighty.
it's funny you mentioned pond scape and teeth and all that. My dad called asking if I've been in the fish room tonight. <laughs> More synchronicity. What the fuck? The universe is just having fun with our heads, man. Hmm. Crazy. It's definitely been an interesting last few days, not only in my life and the lives of people I know, but world events and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last week has been uh, unsettling, so to speak. <laughs> not not just to me, my brother, lost, my brother lost his job, and he, uh, he controlled the utilities department for our whole, uh, whole city. Which means water, sewer, uh, electricity, uh, there's snow plowing and uh, everything else. He, he's head of that in the new marital office. And fired. By him, we put one of his cronies in there. Hmm. Figures. <laughs> but. You know, it, it, it's just an opportunity for them to find something better. You know, people that are in, in a state where everything's just going good, they have a <coughs> tendency not to want to, to expand and become more unless there's yeah. a reason to. So usually the self has a tendency to drop things on you to get you to, to expand from that little precept that you had before to get you sort of traveling on your own path. Hey, maybe you could you could have them um, download all the uh, radio show episodes from the Wolf Spirit Archive and start uploading them all to his own YouTube channel and monetizing. Mm. Well, you don't do it. Uh, you don't have a. Uh, Google, uh, yeah, YouTube account, I don't think. It doesn't matter if he doesn't have it. It's not like there's a notice up there that says, if you don't have one, you're fucked too bad. No, no. <laughs> you're too late. Last call for alcohol has gone. <laughs> you could set one up. I told you to get himself... I told him he should get himself a 3D printer and start making gun parts. <laughs> you know, there's only one part, one part of the gun that has to be uh, licensed or numbered, and that's yeah, that's, and the, that, that's the one you reproduce. <laughs> no, that's the one. No, you don't have to reproduce it. There's a number of ways about it. You can do it. Say if you. You could you could use the lost wax process and 3D print with lost wax a lower receiver and sell sell it for the you know for a person so they can catch their own lower receiver or you can uh, make make parts you know gun parts like you know you have all kinds of springs triggers all kinds of stuff in there and you could uh, actually make parts for the guns and just sell gun parts. And you don't need a license to do that. You know, it's like ammunition. You can buy, you can buy ammunition over the internet. It don't, you know, it don't. Uh, it's not really that difficult. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. And he's also he, he likes hunting once in a while. You don't get out that much, hunt. But it's a good, you know. In times that are coming up, it may come in useful to know how to hunt, how to trap, or how to grow food and other things. Yeah. You know, it doesn't hurt to expand so all direct. In fact, the best type of work is doing something you enjoy anyway. Man, then it don't I'm seem like work. Shades in a while. <laughs> Thank God my hair grows slow, though. But I should shave that off here, here, here. 
so it's a bit neater, mm -hmm. but kind of haven't felt like it. Oh, I got a new razor, oh, though. Wow. Um, this thing's like a... Um, hold over here. This thing's a $200 razor. I didn't pay that much, of course. That's how oh, it's like. Electric razor, huh? Yeah, you can see it, right? Yeah. And this thing cuts really good and really close. And they weren't kidding about how they advertised it because when you're running it, I mean, you could push as hard as you want. You're not going to cut yourself. The only thing yeah, that's going to get uh, cut is hair. Uh, this thing's actually what, 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 what a Norelco, huh? Like a high tech Norelco. Yeah, it is. And check this out. The head pops off. Mm -hmm. And you can clean it. Not just that. New head goes on. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you, you can put attachment tools on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one you it's use. It's like a Dremel. It, it, it's like a Dremel for your razor, huh? Yeah. That's the one you use first to kind of mm -hmm. carve your what you're wanting to do, and then to get that close, fine-tuned, uh, you know, perfect uh, shave there. Sure. a little tricky to line up. Come in, there we go. You just go back and forth. It just plugs into the charger here. Mm -hmm. it's incredibly uh, simple, easy. And I'm really glad to not have paid 200 bucks for this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to close out now because I gotta eat supper. All right. Yeah, well, I'm ha haven't been soup. Anything soon. else uh, you wanna you wanna mention before we close out as far as overcoming creativity blocks and you know whatever else? Mm, well, the mm. the world as you see it is your own creation, so you're always creating. You just got yourself convinced that you're not. <laughs> we see the world as we are, not as it is. Change your belief systems. Change your right. Right. Open yeah. Yourself up to opportunity. Right. Uh, seeing ain't believing. Believing is seeing. Yeah, because we're all wearing uh, blue lens glasses, so people can talk about color all they want, but everything's going to be blue for you. And if you have a belief system that you either can't take off the glasses, or you're going to get in trouble if you take them off, or worse yet, you have a belief that the glasses don't even exist, then you got some problems. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Alrighty. Well, everybody, uh, see you next time on uh, Paradigm Shift. Uh, we'll mess with your heads later. But this is bye for now. See you next time.